Hello and welcome to Passing Cyber Tree. I'm going to take you a bit of a tour so you see what's here. So as you walk through, um, we've got the courtyard out, out there, which is um, a nice area. And then I'll show you some of the accommodation rooms. First of all, as you walk through this way, come through one of the, the lounge areas. So there's lots of seating area to socialise, there's a bookcase. People use this for like massages as well. Again, lovely uh, view of the courtyard. So one of our special rooms, the check unit room. And it has two, two beds. And it might, might look a bit strange to you, but basically if um, basically your head sleeps at this end, it's quite comfortable. It has a privacy curtain, so you close up and, and uh, enjoy. And uh, this, these are used uh, mainly in the Monroe Institute. They're called CHECK units, which is an acronym for Controlled Holistic Environment Chamber. So you put yourself in darkness, it has speakers either side of the, of the pillow where your head is. So it's got a light inside as well. And also a place where you can plug in your, your headphones. So it's, uh, yeah, you just plug, plug headphones in, change the, the channel and the volume control. All the beds have this by each bed. So this is basically like a mattress with a wall around which you enclosed. It's uh, no noise from the outside world. You don't hear any sirens. We're out in the country here. So it's, uh, these are really nice and they're a favorite for a lot of people, but we've only got room, one room like this. So this is bedroom four. And with bedroom four, we also have um, an ensuite area. So shower room and toilet. So lovely shower. And uh, yeah, nice and beautiful. So all the rooms have, most of the rooms have en suite. So it's nice and quiet and, and very beautiful. And then I'll show you two bedroom five. Starting at the new end of the build. Then you come through uh, the main, uh, one of the main uh, rooms. Downstairs to bedroom five, which is through here. New build. We have a lovely uh, triple room, which is all single beds, and again headphone jacks by each wall. Um, look out to the garden there, the window, and also have an ensuite here as well. So we have a uh, shower and toilet for guests. Very, very quiet here, very comfortable. People love the beds, really nice. Lovely uh, west side view of the sunrise, sorry, sunset through there. Come through to an, uh, bedroom number six. There's another triple bedroom. We have three beds, uh, single beds, again with uh, the headphone jacks by each bed. So you just plug yourself in again. So each bed has this, and there's all you know lights next to. And this is more. This is the only room that's used for anyone who may be in a wheelchair or has a, a physical disability. So it's downstairs. So it's a nice big wet uh, wet room, like shower room. So toilet around here, and then there's the shower. Again, very quiet, you don't hear anything. It's a really good place uh, if you want some peace and quiet and do uh, some quiet retreats. Now I'll take you upstairs. This is uh, bedroom number seven, so lucky number seven, whoever comes up here. Uh, triple room again with uh, single beds, and again, all with headphone jacks, all the rooms have this, and a uh, shared ensuite room, uh, a shower and toilet. And if you take a look outside through the window, you have a nice view of uh, the gardens, and that's where the sunrise takes place in the mornings, which is very beautiful. 
Then bedroom number eight, our final room at the new end. This is quite a unique room. Uh, we have the ensuite in the middle, and then we have two single beds, one here, which is like your uh, private area, and then the same at the other end as well. And then this uh, room also has nice views, just the same as bedroom number seven. Uh, nice views from outside. See nature, rabbits and wildlife. And yeah, great weather. And if you're really lucky on a night when it's like clear sky, you see the stars and the Milky Way. So now I'll take you downstairs. On the left this is uh, to the kitchen area so this is the old end of the house this is the most oldest part uh, the original cottage part end so there are three bedrooms here, uh, two single bedrooms, and a, a, double, a twin room, basically. So, come through. There's a lot of character through here. We have another, like, uh, dining uh, area, well, a lounge area, uh, the main road uh, to that end. And we have a view for the courtyard. This is the oldest part of the retreat. This is uh, bedroom one downstairs in the old part. And even though we're near, near the main road, you rarely hear any traffic because there's not much that comes down here. Again, all the, the beds all down from this end of the house have the headphone jacks, headphone ports for uh, audio sessions for people to tune in. So if you're a facilitator and you uh, do voice guided meditations, uh, everyone's listening to it at the same time or night time but I be uh, tracked for better sleep so that's optional here yeah so I'll take you upstairs this is an old part of the house so it's uh, mind your head as you come up This end we have uh, a shared bathroom, so there is a bath and there's a shower, um, toilet obviously. And then we have two, two far rooms. We have uh, bedroom number two. There's this one here, lovely all made up. And uh, my headphone ports, again by the bed. Um, this is the old part of the house, but it's it's still very beautiful and lovely, great energy. People love the energy this this end, which is really nice and very beautiful. So uh, yeah, it's uh, lovely, lots of history to it. And then the final room, number three. Just run a step as you come in. This is bedroom number three. So one of the single rooms, and the other single. Uh, bed single room is down below this one as well. So if you are worried about sharing a room with other people, then you have a bed to yourself. So, and that's all the accommodation. So very comfortable and very clean and lots of good comments. Uh, we try to keep the place, this is our family home and family run retreat center. So we try to keep everything really tidy and clean. And we like to be in service and look after people when they arrive. So hopefully you'll we'll meet you soon.